What's up everybody, Gerald here and welcome back to the fleet video from what we normally do. Today we are catfishing up here on Mason's at Derrick Fishing Complex. I've been here about half an hour, I haven't even got the bivvy set up and we've gone and got ourselves an absolute monster. Now I don't think I could pick it up but I'll give it a go, it's big. Got to get all slimed up. Here we have... 52 pounds. I can't pick this up on me, eh? Oh, come on then. 52 pounds of Mason's catfish. So it's too hard to pick up. But here it is. 52 pounds. It's a big old boy. It's uh, crept all in the net. I'm going to get it back now. Out that way. There you go. Ooh wee! <sighs> Mate, what a start to the session. And this is why I don't like catfishing on my own. Because I have bloody nightmare picking them up. And getting the photos. Alright, I'm going to get the rod back out. Get the bivvy set up. And I've got some things to run through with you. So I'll be right back. Just straighten you up a little bit. So I'm back. It's all go up here on Mason's. <laughs> oh, so I'm back again. It's all go up here on Mason's. Um, I've lost another cat. Uh, unfortunately, it came straight off pretty much. I had it on for about five seconds and it came straight off. And uh, now I've gone and got myself a nutty little common on the cart rod. I haven't had time to show you where the rods are or anything. But we've got ourselves a nice little one. If he was stopped flapping for two seconds. There he is. A nice little common. Uh, Mason's, we're going to get him back, get some photos obviously get him back and then I'll show you where all the rods are and the rigs that we're using. Well I'm an idiot, I forgot to take pictures didn't I? I had to put the fish straight back, never mind. Let's state my hair from this wind. I've uh, definitely caught the sun the last few days. But uh, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to get this rod back out and I'll show you where all the spots are. So here's the rig that just caught me that carp. It's a three ounce lead with a simple lead clip. We've got a, uh, a little anti-tangle sleeve down onto some 25 pound Camotech soft, it's slightly stripped back here then we've got a little bit of shrink tube on there with a little bit of kick and then we've got these bad boys which are the spicy sausage uh, Kemp particle pop-ups that have been glugging in something which I don't know what they've been glugging in but as you can see it's leaving a little bit of a stain, they've been glugging for about two years I've got no idea what I glugged them in but they've been doing me alright and they caught me a couple of fish up on Steve's um, which will be in a video, I'm not sure if that video is out already um, it might be, so you might have already seen that, but we're going to get that back out on the spot and then I'll show you where it is. It is looking absolutely stunning out there. It's quite windy, but uh, as you can see, I'm tucked up nicely in a bivvy. And you might say, well that bivvy door looks a bit different. That's because it is. So right now, it's quite windy out here, so I don't know how well you can hear me, but as you can see, I've gone and got myself a new bivvy. We've gone and bought the Sonic Axis One Man Bivvy and I must say I am so impressed with it. It went up in about a minute and 45. It took me a little, a little minute just to work out how to screw the tension poles in. But um, they're all set up and I've got to say it is lovely. It's nice and cosy in here. There's plenty of room as you can see. I actually feel like I've got more room in here than I have in my two man TFD one with the winter skin. Now you can get the winter skin for this and I will be getting it as well and uh, basically I got this because I need a slightly smaller bivvy for when I want to fish up on Steve's and uh, in some other places where the swims are a little bit tighter now you know I probably won't be taking this one with me to France I'll probably take the other one because it will just give me that little bit more uh, room to store some bits but we'll see how I get on with this one I've got to say though so far I'm really impressed the ground sheet's lovely and thick the actual material of the tent is really thick and it feels like top quality um, and like I say there's plenty of room in here um, like, 
I feel like I can stretch my feet out. I'm sat nicely in the bivvy. My head is only just touching the top with the bed chair pushed right to the back. And I'm nearly six foot tall. So there is plenty of room for tall people. I've got all my rod bags and my marker rod down there, which is also something new that I've got. Um, and like I say, loads of room. Absolutely loving it so far. Obviously, I'll give you a bit more of a review after I spent the night in here. But now I'm going to show you where all three rods are. So this is our chosen swim up here on Mason's. It may look familiar because in a previous video I actually fished this one over here and we had a few fish. Now the right hand rod is the carp rod which is the rig I showed you a little moment ago with a spicy sausage pop up that sits like a bottom bait but like a wafter and that is just off the point over here about four foot off the bank. The middle rod is a catfish rod which is what we caught the first one on and lost the second one and that is just literally chucked out in the middle with a massive bit of chorizo on it. And then the left hand rod, again catfish rod, and it's chucked out in the middle down here with a bit of chorizo on it. So the rods are all out there. I'm going to sit back now, relax, enjoy the sunset, and uh, just chill. So as you can see, I now have the lake to myself. Now if I knew I was going to have the lakes myself, I would have probably plotted up right in the middle and then fished one right down the end, one out in front and then run right down here, but I can't complain because I've had a 52 and uh, that's the biggest cat I've ever caught. So that's a PB cat for me. Like I said, I don't normally do a lot of catfish fishing, but I think this summer we're going to give it a go, me and Dan, and uh, probably Rich as well. I think we're going to be doing a social up here in about three weeks. Uh, I'm going to try and get like six of us up here and just see if we can take over the whole lake pretty much and have a little catfish competition have a social have a barbecue and a few drinks and see what goes on but yeah happy days right so it's coming up to eight o'clock i was uh, nicely tucked up in the bivvy in the sleeping bag keeping warm and the right hand rod is torn off which is the cut rod again and we got ourselves a nice little 10 pound common as normal it's nutty all the commons are nutty aren't they Let's get him up. There you go. Just as the light's going. A nice little one. The guy over on Basil's has got one as well. So let's get some photos of this. Get it back and I'll go see what he's had. So, as I was getting the right hand rod back out, I was literally about to cast it. The left hand rod's gone tearing off. We've got ourselves another cat. This one's not quite as big, but it's not small either. Let's see if I can get it up for the camera. They're so hard to hold on your own, especially when they fight. This one is not going to be able. Wee! That's quickly. 42 pound. Woo wee, come here. Yeah. 42 pound a cat from Mason's Lake. I'm going to try and get some pictures. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll try and get a picture of it and get it back. So there it is in the sling, just before I get it back, just to show you how big it is. It's the length of the sling, it's longer than the cradle. Whew, another good one. I know it doesn't seem it right now because the fish have decided to stop doing it as I get the camera out, but the lake is alive tonight. I've got a lot of shows going on off the spot over here where the carp are. Now normally I'd only put a couple of freebies out, but I actually put 30 to 40 freebies all around that rod. And I've had two carp, so it pays off. So a bigger, better bait up here seems to work compared to Steve where you cannot put in a lot of bait at all. Um, I've just had a knock on the middle catfish rod as well, which is just out there. I've put the left hand rod back out over there somewhere. Like I say, there's a lot of activity. I've seen some cats uh, slapping their towels and all the car bars showing themselves tonight. And like I say, as typical, as soon as I get the camera out, they stop. Oh, hey, there was one. So as you can see, the sun has gone in, the winds died down. It's nice and calm out there now. I keep getting a couple of knocks on that middle rod. So I'm just gonna sit here at the door and just see if it tears off. I think it's just liners where fish are swimming through because I've lost my back lead so I can't even back lead now. Which could be quite disastrous when you catfish fishing. So I'll have to see what happens. But just quickly, I'm gonna show you my motion sensor light because I'm not sure if I showed you in the last video or up on Steve's. See, I'm here in the bivvy and say I get a run. I go running out the bivvy. Boom! Your motion sensor light comes on and I can see exactly what I'm doing. 
It's over there next to the bivy on a pole. Basically, you're not going to be able to see it, but if you go in B&M's, you can get them from there. It's £10. It runs off batteries, which I actually think is better than being rechargeable because, you know, if the battery goes when you've recharged, you've got to sit and wait for it to charge again. This way I can just change the batteries and uh, it's not going off all night. So the batteries have lasted me six sessions so far. But as you can see, it does light up quite a lot of the swim as I step back there. So great buy. I got Dan one. I think Rich wants one as well. So imagine having a couple of them just either side of your bivy, you would light the whole place up. Sort it out mate, sort it out. That's better. Morning. It's uh 1.30 and I don't know what rod this was. It was a catfish rod. I think it was the left. Torn off. And we got ourselves a nice little one. I say little. It's 28 pounds. And a couple of ounces. So we'll just say 28 pounds. I might actually be able to pick this one up because it's having a little Hopefully. Come on, mate. 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 Uh, I actually managed to get three other rigs out of it so I will say if you're going to come up here and come catfishing please make sure you're well prepared I know they do like to pick up a carp bait so you can't always account for it but just make sure you're well geared up especially if you're coming for the cats because that little 20 pounder there put up just as much of a fight as the uh, 50 even though it's half its weight so make sure you're well tackled up that was now staying out of the water, mainly because it's messed up the rig and it's too dark and I'm too tired to try and tie a new one. So I'm going to get my head down now. That rod stayed out, like I say, I've moved the left hand rod onto the middle because, oh, sorry, the left hand rod onto the middle spot because that was actually the middle rod that went off. Um, for some reason in my head I thought it was the left. But yeah, so I'm going to get my head down now. Two rods in the water, still plenty of time to catch another one. Straighten you up. Bingo bango. Morning. It's six o'clock. And we've gone and got ourselves another cat. This one is a 30. So I'm pretty sure that one last night, small well, early hours of this morning, was a 20. So we've now had a 50, a 40, a 30, and a 20. As normal, I'm gonna try and pick it up. But we'll see. There he is, 30 pound cat. Wahey! It's a shame I can't take a picture right now. But cracking fish, great session. I think I'm actually going to pack up in here and get myself off home. I was going to do today as well, but we're not going to catch uh, anything really bigger than 50. I mean, there are a couple in here. I don't really want to catch anything smaller than 20. So, we've had a great session. I'm going to show you the rigs. I'll show you the pack down of my bivy and then probably get myself off home in about an hour so let's get this fish back and we're going to try and get a photo as per normal and uh see you in a minute so here's the rig that's caught us all the catfish it's basically exactly the same as my bottom boat rig for carp we've got the 25 pound camo tech soft which shows just how good that stuff is i'm catching 50 pound cats who have got very abrasive uh like pads on the front of their mouth and it's not even taking any of the coating off We've got a little anti-tangle sleeve, uh, a size 6 hook, uh, no shrink tube on this though, and then a massive chunk of chorizo. Ignore the state of it, it has actually caught me, I think, three out of the four uh, cats for the night. So yeah, that's what we've been catching them on. We've got one rod left, which is the cart rod. The other two are up against the bivy. Going to give it an hour, that's coming in. We're going to start packing up and get ourselves off home. I don't know if they've had any over there, but I forgot to say that cat was actually 36, so it's nearly 40. 
But the lake looking lovely. The pumps on down there. Got the place. I can't believe I had the place to myself. It's been ramo up here since the bank holiday every night. And I was expecting to be at least one person on this. So I definitely chose the right night to do. Really happy. Glad I did once again. Happy days. So just like last time, I'm sitting there editing and I've realised I forgot to film an outro again. So that just shows you just how rusty I am. I'm sorry that the quality of video has dropped a tiny bit. But going forward from the next video, which is me just fishing just on the other side there, over in Basils, the quality should be back to where it was just before we took a break five months ago. This next video that's coming out of me on Basils is an absolute banger. I'm going to be filming yet another video tomorrow as well. So there's plenty of content coming for you. Hope you've enjoyed it. So until I see you again, tight lines, wet nets, and I'll see you all soon.